What's up guys? So I've had the Steam Deck OLED for a few days now at time of putting this video up and I thought it'd be a good chance to jump in and do some first impressions and some comparisons to the OG Deck. Now Valve's new lineup is 399, 549, and 649 here and the 399 is the LCD model while the other two are the OLED models featuring the smaller nanometer APU, better Wi-Fi, battery, screen, and other improvements that have been made to the first generation Steam Deck. So I thought this would be a great time to jump in and take a look at some of the differences I've noticed and the things I'm enjoying about the new version of the Steam Deck here. They've really done a nice job of refreshing what has been one of my favorite handhelds for the past year and a half, not just for testing here, but for all of my personal gaming as well. So let's get into it and take a closer look here, starting with the design of the new Steam Deck, which is largely similar to or the same as the original deck. We do have the more uh, black accents under the, uh, the thumbsticks here. We have the darker lettering. We have the OLED screen taking up more space, meaning smaller bezels, which is definitely one of my favorite things about the new Steam Deck here. And the back of the deck's largely the same, though we do have those Torx screws now instead of Phillips, and I believe they go into little metal sheaths now to hold them or metal inserts, so the longevity of taking this apart, the new OLED, should be much better, which is certainly nice to see. As far as the top of these, they're the same as well. Our shoulder buttons, power button, USB-C, LED, uh, port out, headphone jack, and volume buttons, but we do have that orange power button to indicate the OLED, the RGB capable LED now, and everything else basically the same across the top. Though we do feature a little bit better shoulder buttons, which we'll talk about more later in the video. But yeah, all in all, the OLED model is just a much improved version of the original model of the Steam Deck. Valve's done a great job of really going through and just refining this device to something that just feels even better than what the original deck felt to play on. And the design being largely the same is actually quite nice because this has always been one of the most comfortable handhelds that I've used. Now, other changes here are like the joysticks here, or the thumbsticks. They're much more concave. There's much more room for your thumb to go down in there versus the more flat original thumbsticks, which these are still some of my favorite thumbsticks on any handheld. Really, they've been great, but they've got about the same tension, but they're just a lot better for my thumbs anyway of not slipping out of place here. And I really, really like these newer thumbstick styles a lot more than the original. Also the shoulder buttons here, they just seem to be less spongy and click a lot better no matter where I push them. That's hard to portray in a video, but they definitely feel better to use no matter where I tend to click on them versus the original deck, which always felt a little bit more spongy to me and, and didn't always click the best depending on where I pushed it. And I don't know, it just seems like they're a little bit more consistent and they feel better now. Haptics on the touchpads also are something hard to portray in a video, but they feel a lot better on the new deck. They feel just more poignant, sharper, and just more precise when it comes to using things like the keyboard, in-game commands, the browser, whatever the case, they just feel a lot better here on the Steam Deck OLED. Again, everything kind of refined here over the first generation Steam Deck. All in all, just to take a look at it, you would think, yeah, it's a Steam Deck, but there are just a lot of micro improvements along with large improvements that really overhaul this entire device. Let me take a second to go over the cases here. This was the high-end model that I had originally got of the OG Deck, which came with the microfiber cloth, the blue logo, and the, uh, the white zippers and that type of thing. Now for the mid-tier, the 512 gig that we have now for 100 bucks less than I got that one for, we have a more basic case. It doesn't have the strap for pulling your deck out of there. It doesn't have the microfiber, but all in all, a similar case and basically same idea uh, between the two, what used to be the high-end and now the mid-tier OLED. Now the next thing would be sound. I want you guys to be able to take a listen to that. It won't be perfect in the video for you to tell the difference, but there are improvements here. So go ahead and check this out.
So again, that's hard to portray in the video, but these speakers do get a little bit louder and do sound a little bit fuller than the original deck speakers. Not by a lot, but I can tell a difference in person here with them. Now I'm going to lump three things together since this is more of a just a first impressions video and we're going to have so many more videos to come out on these. But the thermals and game performance and battery, it's all just better when it comes to the OLED Steam Deck. And I'll just jump into Batman Arkham Knight here for an example with the overlays brought up so that you can see what I mean. And we'll kind of zoom in here as well. Obviously, we're going to get more battery life with this 30 to 50 percent, typically according to Valve. And in my time testing, battery life has certainly been a big deal. It's been much better much improved on the OLED. We're also getting much better temperatures and a little bit better game performance, which is something I notice in almost all the games I play, whether it be a little bit better frame times or a few FPS better here and there, depending on the game. It certainly does offer a better gaming experience over the original Steam Deck, not by a lot, not by enough to be a new generation or anything like that, but as a refresh model, it certainly does smooth out the experience. And on top of that, being able to game longer, on such a good looking screen on a lighter device it just all comes together for a quieter experience with less thermals better battery and a nice gaming experience which takes me on to the screen which i think is the big deal here now full transparency i'm running these out of box with default color temperature and vibrance you can adjust the color temperature to match at the 6500k if you want to be warmer you can add color vibrance and all of that but because it is oled versus lcd you'll never get the true vibrance and contrast and deep darks that you'll get over on the oled but i do want to just say i am testing these out of box when you see these screen differences we also have 60 hertz screen versus the 90 hertz panel here and i gotta say especially in games that take advantage of that 90 hertz it really does make a difference yeah we're using some more battery but because we get such better battery life we're able to do that and a lot of games do take advantage of the 90 fps and it's super smooth and looks really sharp here on the oled color saturation contrast the true blacks you get with oled just like with any other oled screen are true here on the steam deck it looks fantastic especially over my etched glass original og model the viewing angles are better the colors obviously pop and are more saturated and look great on the oled along with the blacks and just being able to see more detail in general it's just an overall better experience in picture here when it comes to the new OLED and for me these kinds of devices especially handheld my switch OLED really got me playing my switch more handheld than I did docked for the first time in a long time when it came out and I gotta say for the OLED model of the Steam Deck it's really brought me back over to the deck playing more of my games going back to older games that just look fantastic emulation which we'll talk about more in a little bit as well but it just having a better screen a better window into your device and into your games does make a big difference and to me screens can make or break a device how successful it is or how much i personally play it and it's certainly a big difference here on the oled now taking a look at hdr on and off here something i found myself very surprised with is enjoying hdr gaming on a handheld like this i typically don't like a lot of hdr on pc and a lot of pc monitors just aren't bright enough at a good price point to give good hdr but the steam deck at its thousand nit peak brightness with hdr actually looks really good on the steam deck and i find myself opting into playing more and more HDR content with this device. And even if you don't use HDR and you're sticking with SDR, you'll certainly still have a much better experience as far as color saturation and the darks and the pixels being able to truly turn off on the OLED. But being someone who just typically isn't a fan of HDR gaming with PC games myself, I did notice myself really jumping in and enjoying HDR. And even as I said, SDR here compared to the original deck really just looks a lot better, brighter, more vibrant here, of course, with the OLED over the original deck. And of course, we're running 90 FPS solid versus 60, which makes for a much smoother experience on the handheld as well. Ori definitely is a nice example of just how good the OLED is able to handle things here on the Steam Deck. I jumped into some other games just to check them out as well. And Spider-Man Miles Morales is another game that you can play with HDR. Now, if you bring up your uh, menu over here, you'll see above brightness. If you're in HDR mode, it'll actually have an HDR badge there, which is nice because at any time you can check in on that and see if HDR is in fact working and displaying. And Spider-Man Miles Morales is definitely a game for me that 
look fantastic with HDR on. It seems a little bit less bright in comparison to SDR, which is typical with some HDR content, especially PC, but it looks more realistic. And Guardians of the Galaxy looks great with HDR because we get those brights that you really want to see with HDR and having that thousand nit peak on a smaller screen like this, you really are able to get those super bright areas, but also not blow everything else out in the screen and keep the darker blacks. And so it, it looks really nice. And uh, Lego Star Wars, a Skywalker Saga, one of my favorite uh, recent Star Wars games actually, and Lego games really uh, looks fantastic in HDR as well and takes advantage of the higher FPS screen at times if you're not locking things down to 30, 40, or 60. A lot of areas of this game, especially inside, will run well above that and very smoothly frame times stay nice. Even non-HDR games like Batman Arkham Knight is just one that I've been going around and doing some sightseeing since I got the OLED, uh, along with other older titles as well. But it it's it looks fantastic, and not only can it take advantage of the higher refresh rate at times, but just the colors and the darks. Games like this really do lend themselves to showing how good an OLED screen can be, and really make a device like this. I don't know, just more appealing to pick up and play. I've been using the Legion Go a ton because of its screen, its size, its vibrancy, its color, and the deck OLED's probably the first uh, device since I've been messing with the Go here to really pull me away and get me to pick this thing up and play it. For me, like I said before, screens really are a big deal on these devices, and I think even though the Steam Deck has a ton, the Steam Deck OLED has a ton of fantastic changes for this refresh, it's really this larger 90 hertz, OLED screen, HDR capable, that pulls me into the Steam Deck again. Now, I did mention emulation, and I'm a big fan of Emu Deck, and I use that on all of my Steam Decks. It's really easy to use, and it works very well on the OLED. This is definitely something I've been waiting to try out. I'm a huge fan of emulation, been doing it for a long, long time, and um, it looks fantastic on this device, no matter what system I want to load up or whatever game I want to go into uh, with this OLED screen with it being a little bit bigger because I was really going to some other devices for my emulation even though I really do prefer the Steam Deck setup for emulation just because of the older Steam Decks, the OG Steam Decks uh, screen in my opinion the LCD screen was never that great and definitely wasn't a highlight of the original Steam Deck but this screen does justice to the Steam Deck and uh, really makes stuff like emulation. It's really bringing me back to doing more of this on the Steam Deck versus some of my other devices. So really enjoying emulation here on the OLED as well. But I think that's about going to wrap us up for this video. I really just wanted to get into a quick first impressions and comparison to the OG Steam Deck and kind of what I'm seeing here and really nothing to complain about. Just like most other reviews or anything you've seen about the Steam Deck OLED, um, there's not much to not like about the new design, uh, the changes, the refresh to the Steam Deck OLED. It really is just an overall Steam Deck, but just overall better. The better screen, the better thumbsticks, a little bit better shoulder buttons for me, better haptics, better battery life, better thermal thermals in some cases, um, better performance in games. Um, it's just all around a better experience here now with the Steam Deck OLED. And like I said, it really is kind of pulling me back to using this device to go back and play a lot of the games that uh, I've been wanting to mess with and uh, with emulation and other things. Um, for me, it's it's really all the improvements combined around a really, really nice immersive screen like this makes a difference. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. A lot more to come when it comes to the Steam Deck OLED and other handhelds here on the channel. Thanks a lot for coming to watch. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.